Hey there Slackers, welcome to Hanabana Games, my name is Twisted and today we are once again playing Prison Architect. What the hell is this? Where is our prison? I don't see our prison. You know why you cannot see our prison? It is because version 1.0 is now out and interesting patch notes here. <laughs> they have a few changes, nothing too major. They have some bug fixes that are really, really great, but that doesn't really matter. What we're going to be playing in this series, we're going to be playing in the campaign. There are no cutscenes unlocked right now, that's unfortunate. I'm going to go back, I'm going to go to the campaign. Our first campaign is going to be Death Row, which is, I think it's it's the same one that was the old tutorial. I don't know, if I haven't actually seen this. I don't know if they changed something, I don't know if it's exactly the same. I don't think it is exactly the same, because that thing was kind of outdated. So hopefully they changed some things around, because that didn't actually... It was wrong in a lot of things, so a lot of things in this tutorial were wrong, but let's give it a go. We're gonna have a cutscene. Oh yeah, I'm gonna shut up here. All right, here we are in Prison Architect. We... Oh, we don't have control yet. The CEO is calling us. Oh no, what could this be? This is a tough one. There is a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's kind of nasty. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. All right. I wonder if they actually change this to fit the execution mechanics that are in-game right now. Alright, first step in any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. That's not really necessary, but oh well. But that's how Death Row works. Okay. Not into the entrance, of course, but a large yellow door into the south wall. Alright. So I don't know if they actually, like, change execution or whatnot. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna leave all the lights on. Let's build an, a brick wall. Let's place a jail door, jail door large. Yes. Okay, CEO, shut up. I don't want, I'm concentrating here. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, storage. Hello, storage. What's up? The workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. All right, that makes a lot of sense. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building, of course. You know that. This lawyer's actually plan ahead, I know, blah, blah, blah. Well, wait, you can look around. Yes, okay, good. I'll be really disappointed if they I didn't actually like change the death row mechanics to what they are really in the game because that's not how these movements work. They don't work in the same way that they worked in the tutorial because that tutorial was really old since like version one I think or maybe like version five or something. It was super outdated. It wasn't actually really relevant at all. All right, I cannot actually access most of my menus right now, which is unfortunate, but oh well. This is a really crappy yard, by the way. We need to improve it. This is just awful. I should maybe make my yards without actually fences. That would make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, probably. There's a building. Okay, it's gonna be good built on its own. Awesome, we have the lights. I left them in there because why the hell not? It's just a tutorial. It's not a big deal. It's actually a paid mission, technically. When I still in the execution room, I've played all of this. We can partition this by building some brick wall, of course. I mean, it will look nice, but... We don't need a holding cell. We need a uh, normal cell. It's gonna be death row marked. What, what did I miss? I didn't miss anything. I just waiting for the guy. Yeah, let's just speed the game up. Look around. What do we have in this prison here? Let's see. We have these fellows. We have the guards standing around. That's worse. Than... I can't actually select them. Interesting. Hmm. I guess these are like yeah, not relevant. Now large. I'll add large elders to those dividing walls. Okay, you can rotate an object for placement by clicking and pressing R. 
All right. Let's do that. That should be fairly simple. That's a big old canteen. This is actually like a very poor ratio for you guys, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. Warden has a huge office. I, I'd never give my warden such a big office. I'm just not the kind of guy, honestly. Not gonna happen, my friends. Not gonna happen. This is, all, this is cool, by the way. I like this a lot. I really do. Right, and they're gonna build that fairly quickly. Let's see. Come on. We have a lot of cash. Oh my god, that's awesome. Can we actually... We don't have the menu yet. Looking good. There's no room between those spaces. Isn't it still in the small area? Well, okay. It's not actually a holding cell. It's just a cell. That makes sense. Because a holding cell would be silly. Let's make a big cell for that guy, and let's just make an execution room. It's kind of strange that we do this, like, first, in the tutorial, because the execution is actually kind of super optional, and it's a very, very late game thing. And they have requirements, but I guess it makes for a decent tutorial. We need to build and tutorial, yeah, that explains everything we need. Because it's like a chair, yeah. It explains the building, and it's also actually really good for explaining electricity, so that's probably why they do it. 5,000 bucks, that's okay, we have a few spare beds, let's place one here, let's place a toilet here, we will need, uh, I guess they already placed like the plumbing in there, maybe we're gonna add it later, what, what am I missing? Bed toilet, okay, that's fine. Execution indoors, chairs, do we not need like, um, do we not need like chairs for people to sit in, or is that not necessary actually? I don't know, I think it is, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Not really sure. We'll build that. That should make this little super valid. All alrighty. That's essential taken care of. Awesome. There's still a few improvements you can make. It's up to you though. It's going to require. Depends on how much you care about prison and never mind. Not very much. If you watch my series, I don't care very much. Window, small bookshelf. Yeah. Also like TVs, radios. All right. Do better. Better tiles, we also need a path, probably a good idea. Yeah, I do think it needs it. I like paths. It makes people walk on them, it's a bit quicker. We're gonna have like a cutscene, I think, if I remember correctly. Let me zoom again. This is the man in question, Edward Ramsey. A teacher once, would you believe? Oh my, yeah, he looks a bit like Walter White with that mustache and the glasses. Another place to decide if he deserves this. this. The law has made that decision, we're just here to do a job. Alright, yeah, that's kind of cold, but... True. Once you're satisfied this facility is ready, you can bring in the prison and transfer to his new cell. Some kind of Polaroids help to introduce the transfer. So there are Polaroids now in the game, and you actually, if I look here, uh, I, I guess they're not here right now, but you can collect them even in the sandbox on certain events. So we're gonna be on the lookout for those when we're playing the game. The chief is calling us. Hello, chief. Also, there are new wardens. You can select a warden when you're starting a new game, and they have their special effects. Don't conclude guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear the description of what he did? Yes, we do. It's gonna be our first cutscene. All right. I knew she was home. Let's see. This should probably be the same as last time. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Bang. There it goes. Well, that was kind of morbid and depressing. He threw... He lost, like, his life and then he threw the rest of his life away. Crime of passion, but still guilty. You can't just shoot a person in the eye. That's not, that's not cool, man. That's not not cool. It really isn't. There we go. Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every vault he's gonna get. 
all men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your walk with another man is no excuse for what he did. That is true, I agree. And he went there with a loaded gun knowing he'd find him together. The level of militant murder, yeah, that is also true. That's also true. I, I don't like... Like, I mean, I'm not a fan of executing people, honestly. Yeah, probably in Canada. Or actually, not in Canada. This takes place in a non-existent place. It's like inspired by both British and American prisons. But it's actually not set in a in any country in the world. All right. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning. Oh no! Doesn't have any power. We've got no power. We're gonna get some power. Electric supply. Oh yeah, utilities menu. Awesome. I like this. I actually quite like the utility shenanigans. Wiring layout. Okay, power grid. I like like messing around with having different uh, power things and whatnot. Okay, we draw so this is from the national grid. That's good to know. They also changed this. So that, I think there was only three of them previously because in the first version of this tutorial, you couldn't actually place them in the corner. Well, let's around, we need more power. Okay, why, why let's use our power? Because there is nothing connecting them. Obviously. Right. Let's go into our favorite mode. Do we have actually pipes here? Do we have pipes anywhere? I Actually, we don't have water supply at all. Like, do we? No, we do not. So, our toilets are kind of magical, I guess. Interesting. All right, let's just do like this. Let's go all the way down here. I think I'm gonna do it like that. That should be most of it taken care of. I will actually probably have to extend a little bit more. Um, I mean, I know I will. So let's just do this immediately. That should give us power to everything, even if it you know, maybe need to do all of that. I could have just connected from here, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh... Oh, they placed the guards. Awesome. That's actually really cool. Can I hire people? I totally freaking can. Ah, more! Exceeds daily budget. Oh man. Okay, whatever. I didn't actually know that was a thing. Interesting. I had no idea. Let's have the only thing that needs power. You'll need electric. Yeah, that's it too. I know. Yeah, I did that already. Don't worry, guys. Okay. It requires its own electric power line. Yeah, I, I did that. I did that already. Yeah, uh, I hope that won't break the door. Okay, then it's good. Almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we start to use it, though. That should be fine. Okay, I'm going to turn it on for a few seconds to make sure everything is okay. That will break the system, I know. That's like the special thing. It's almost full. Oh no, we lost power! Oh shit! No! Well, that didn't work, obviously. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We need to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. Alright, obviously. Uh, first, we need to turn the power back on. It's a two-step process. Switch the power station. Okay. Uh, switch on. I know. Alright. Alright, good. Let's turn this on. Go switch utilities. We're gonna build a few capacitors. Three of them should be enough, I guess. If they say so, I want to build more. Good thing I didn't actually mess up because of my daily budget. I should have done that. That was probably a mistake. I could have uh, messed everything up. The capacitor should come in fairly soon. I think they already had them in storage or something. Oh, actually, I didn't even fix this. Yeah, I should have maybe like done something to make this a bit nicer. Maybe? I should, but... I don't know. I'll give, let's give him a bookshelf. Like, he can read stuff if he wants to. And let's give him, like, a large window so we can see freedom for one last time. Even though there's, like, a wall run right there, so that won't help him that much. It will give us some light, though. Oh, uh, okay, what's going on? We need to I have only one of them built, so... Oh, we wait for that. We can just place... I mean, I know it's kind of slowing it down, maybe a little bit. Let's just... Really? Interesting. I can't connect to that because of the concrete, huh? 
curious, alright. That's okay though. You guys are doing nothing. Oh, I, I they actually collect everything. Good, let's try it on, turn on. Okay, it should work now. Well done, I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands with a professional job and that's important in our business. Turn not to worry about what happens next. All right. I have one more cutscene. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna drink some coffee while you look at the cutscene. Can I help you? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. Back to the base. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Indeed, there is not. He's probably like pissed at the priest now. <laughs> He's gonna die because of him, oh well. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. I hope you're religious, man, because if you're not, you are in serious trouble right now. I don't want to skip this, man. Just consider this. I don't want to skip. I think I have to flip the button here. Kind of ominous, kind of grim. He is so terrified. Very tense. Edward Ramsey. Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. That's, that seems kind of harsh, doesn't it? I mean, I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. You should be, man. You killed her. That's not cool at all. Alright, that was actually the first episode of our new campaign. We're actually not gonna play this one right now. We're gonna end this episode here. We're gonna play Palermo in the next episode. Yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Band Games, and I have to mention, if you enjoy this new series, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. That's a great, great deal, more than you can imagine, especially since it's the first episode of a quote-unquote new series. But yeah, thank you guys once again very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Band Games, and I will see you next time.